Welcome to today's video and we are back at Minami Course here at Ebisu Circuit for a very special event. This is a reunion event to remember Minami Course and the old days. Now you may have gathered from the tone of my voice and the things that I'm saying, but we're kind of saying goodbye to Minami today. And that's because D1 will no longer be using Minami uh, from the future. So as of next week, I think is their last event here for D1 GP and then no more. Um, main reason for that is insurance and finance stuff, but that aside, there's another big thing. Minami's actually closing in November. And supposedly, this is a rumor I've heard, it hasn't been officially announced or confirmed yet, but it's all getting dug up and turned back into a rally track. You guys remember back, back, back in the old days, the history of Minami is it used to be a dirt rally track. And um, well, supposedly it's gonna be that again pretty sad to talk about honestly I'm I'm still kind of shocked about it all and, and I can't believe it's it's happening because for me I've only just worked myself up to Minami and then to be told that it's potentially going away it's it hurts it really hurts so I'm gonna definitely be driving Minami a lot more this year until uh, it goes and as you can see there's a whole bunch of really cool cars here whole bunch of the OG guys the person who organized this event is called Arisa that's actually her there talking to Manabu san and uh, she does a whole bunch of Vertex stuff and works at Vertex and uh, in short she kind of promoted this event really really funny talking about how like let's bring all the OGs back let's bring back the ex and the, the ex-girlfriends and ex-boyfriends together again you know like it'll be spicy and interesting and just you know celebrate and remember what it was a nostalgic event literally what a reunion is that's why it was called that I guess but yeah, I'm still really blown away, but there's a bunch of really cool cars here. So let's enjoy it, guys. Try to have good attitudes and uh, just really focus on remembering how awesome Minami is. Of course, we had to make sure we go for some passenger runs with Rusei since we're here. And this is his uh, practice S15 HK sequential old school stuff. Really cool. You're not going to crash, right? Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> Thank you so much, Jose. Arigato. Excited to see you drive next week at D1. Thank you. <laughs> As you can see, today is pretty wet. Fair few typhoons rolling in, so the next uh, week or so it's going to be on off with rain. But that isn't going to stop drifting, as you guys know. I love wet days. Wet Minami is a lot of fun. Um, definitely a little bit more, like, less risky in the wet. There's a 1J in that uh, R34. Oh, oh no, oh no! Nice, safe, just lucky. A little bit blasphemous putting a Jay-Z in an R34 chassis, but I also don't blame him. Get rid of those RB problems. Um, but yeah, obviously a lot of cool drivers still here having fun. I love Minami in the wet. Um, as I was saying, it's a little bit less risky, I feel, but obviously if you're not experienced, it can be even more dangerous in the wet, especially if you came in here with too much speed. Wow. But anyways, we're gonna enjoy it. There's a lot of guys heading out with PVC cars right now and it's always entertaining watching these guys because it's so quiet and they're just tandeming and it just looks insane. We definitely uh, need to talk to these guys later and get some advice. Look at these guys, it's so weird. You can't hear a single thing coming from them. <laughs> oh, the PVC seems to handle the jump okay. 
It's just so weird. Look how quiet they are. <laughs> Look at this PVC drift car. It's got a spoiler. <laughs> oh my god. So good. I want to see someone bomb the jump. Oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Did they make it all the way down? <laughs> it's so funny to watch. Oh, 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 he's kind of got it. He held it. Oh, <laughs> right, here we go. We got a PVC car tandem train coming. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at him. Ah, so good. They're going to make it around. Oh, one lost it. Those two guys are doing really well. <laughs> it's so funny to watch. This will never get old. After doing those few laps with Ruse, I'm starting to wonder if I should get an S chassis missile. Maybe I should give the uh, the chaser to May to learn and practice in, and uh, maybe I should get an S15 missile. That thing launched off the jump, like properly launched. Felt entirely different to a chaser. Felt good, like scary good. And now the sun is out and everything's about to get really, really humid and hot again. <laughs> Got your Samurai's car here. This thing looks awesome. Kakui! <laughs> Sickest body kit ever. Love this car to pieces. All the guys out here and their missiles too. I was driving with some of these guys during Matsuri. It's pretty cool to see this thing. This thing's been around a while. I love that he's got a, uh, he's got like a street sign or something screwed in there. <laughs> so good covering up that hole. Here's a quick look at the sponsors for today's event. My guy, my guy. While Oka Chung couldn't make it because he had a couple other races on, he still sponsored the event. What a champion. Unfortunately, right now, the, the event's been kind of delayed for the next hour because they are cleaning the entire track. The full width around is oil everywhere. <laughs> and uh, this 8.6 is responsible. I was just talking with the owner and he's super apologetic and feels terrible about it. And uh, he's gonna do a Facebook public apology later because he felt so bad. But one of his oil lines on his oil cooler popped off and uh, he didn't really know until it, he had already done a couple laps. So <laughs> it's, it's everywhere. <laughs> If you remember, if you're an OG, you remember I had a very similar situation with my Skyline at Nico Circuit. Except I caused three cars to pile up and uh, I don't think anyone crashed as a result from the oil on track. But still, um, I know the feeling all too well. Super cool uh, 8.6 there, I'll give him that. Like, SR swap, super cool. Um, brake conversion, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like Skyline brakes, they are Sumimoto's I think. Yeah, I can see Sumimoto, but maybe they sh he shaved off the Nissan badge on purpose. <laughs> they have a bunch of booths set up here with product and stuff, so I'm going to check it out. They always have discounts and stuff like that at these kinds of events, like normally like roughly around 20% off or so, so it's always a good deal. I'm going to see. I always spend money at Tone. This is dangerous. Oh, boy. But they have a whole bunch of really cool stuff. I'll have to see. I really want that kit for like getting AN lines off on turbos. They have this really good like spanner set. They did a collaboration with um, uh, HKS a while ago. This is awesome, look at this. This little pack, this would be a perfect gift, girlfriends, if any girls are watching this, for your boyfriend who's into cars. It's like a little emergency 10 mil kit. So this is a keychain that is a 10 mil on here. And it can also turn into a little 10 mil ratchet as well. Super cool. I love that companies like Tone, especially like for a company in Japan to be getting on top of that meme. Like, I think it's just well known. Everyone's always missing a 10 mil. So <laughs> that's freaking awesome. I'm going to probably buy one of those. That's cute. And then uh, a few bunch of other things like these things are cool. The chain um, oil filter removers and stuff. The amount of times I've had an oil filter that will not come off. A whole bunch of cool stuff in here. Had to buy that little 10 mil keychain kit. It's super cool. We've got a Yokohama booth here with a tire changer. That's pretty cool. They just have it on a pallet and they can move it around and help out at events. We've got bride booth here. The new ZF4s on display. Seriously, the best seat I have ever, ever gotten. I love these things. I love working with bride on the channel. James Hassan's not here, I don't think. It'd be cool to talk to him and get him in a video. The guy that looks after all their marketing. Got a Valino booth with all the cool merch that they usually have. 
all the stuff for like uh, N style Noki and all that kind of stuff. These zip ties are super sick. Very cool. Bus on Rev Limiter. What a rad line. Gonna take a quick look at all the cars lined up in these pits here and probably one of the cleanest 180 SXs I've seen in a long time. The thing is beautiful. It's like OEM Plus, I love it. Slammed on the T37s. This beautiful FC. What's up? Really, really nice car. It's got the Sexy Knights there. I don't actually know too much about uh, the Sexy Knights team and the, um, uh, what's it called? I can't remember now. I've just had a complete memory blank and I can't even remember the name of the event that these guys drove at. Otherwise, really nice S13, Kolki S14. These guys, a fair few of these guys were at Mitsuri. We were driving with on Minami, which was a lot of fun. Good to see these guys always out here driving. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Love this yellow. It looks so good on an S14. Nice 180SX. Mark II. This says S15 up there. I guess he's done for today. Really nice S13 with blocks, bricks. That's clean. S15, good ride car. I think that's a 90. Hard to kind of tell. Uh, Mach 2, 180. Hey man. S15. She competes in FD. This 34, which is running a 2JZ. And then a chaser. Bunch of really cool cars. Oh, and then there's a Laurel here. So many good cars here. Also a bunch of missiles. Let's see Faso and Mikey do a jump. No! Faso, no! Bro! No! Every time! I'd be out there with them if my car wasn't broken. Watching all this today, it's honestly so hard to believe that potentially Minami course is going away forever. Well, for drifting at least anyways. It just, it's sad, you know what I mean? Just, just started jumping it and working myself up to it and then I'm gonna drive the hell out of Minami for the rest of the year. So keep an eye out for that content, make sure you subscribe. I just had a thought though, if this does become a rally track, maybe we finally need to buy a Subaru for the channel. All right, Mikey, let's go for a drive. Let's go. <laughs> Jumping in Mikey's car. We're gonna hit that jump. This is gonna be sketchy, but at least I have leg room in this car. <laughs> yes. Let's go. This thing is caged. Used to be an FD car. Uh, Komatsu-san's car, I believe. <laughs>
something broke. Yeah. Like an axle or something. Tire. Oh, uh, DB? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh my God, that was that was mental. And that's why I tightened my harness, boys. We were doing some big jumps. The real big jumps. Are you driving with thongs on? <laughs> He's got pluggers on, boys. That's my first crash in the Dalby Dalby. That was fun. Alright, so here's the damage after the crash. We just had a tire debeat on us. These triangle tires are known for doing that. It wasn't running super low pressure, like 1.5 bar, so it should have held it fine. But anyways, regardless, car's in pretty good shape. Doesn't really look any worse or any better. So we'll definitely be driving again together soon. Car's fine, just needs new tires on the rear. Amazing way to end today. That was awesome. Big jump, DB into the tire wall. That was epic. That would have been me today as well, most likely. Haha! <laughs> Go! Go drive! <laughs> He's not allowed to take this is a Mrs. car, so we can't wreck this one. I love Japan. They've done a treasure hunt on the track, and like depending on the green envelopes that you find, if there's something in there, you might get a cool prize. Oh uh, geez, that's just awesome. Japan's amazing. Look at them all. Get to walk out on track and find some. That's cool. I appreciate that. Well, I think there's no better way to end today's video than all of that that just transpired. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, you know, all good things do come to an end. Hopefully this isn't the end for Minami as we know it. We'll have to wait for an official announcement from Ebisu Circuit. But still, nonetheless, let's all stay in high spirits. I love Ebisu. I love Minami course, and I'm going to drive it as much as I can this year. So, like I said, keep an eye for that content coming in the future. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys. Jamata.